Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I want to show you how to use Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control to do some performance evaluation. And in this case, I want to show you the difference between a hash set and a linked list when you've got a large number of elements in your Java collection. I want to show you the difference in performance between a linked list versus a hash set by using an example based on Marcus Hertz. Java Mission Control, Java Flight Recorder examples. Now, in this example, what I do is basically I create two collections. The first bunch is a bunch of numbers. The second bunch is a bunch of numbers. The first bunch is all of the numbers between one and 100,000 that when you mod it by the number three, there's a remainder. So I guess, what, that puts in 60,000 numbers. And then the other one is every number between one and 100,000 that has a remainder when you mod it by the number two. That's the basic method that initializes it. And then once we've got those two collections of numbers that are links lists initialized, we wanna find the intersection. We wanna find how many numbers in the first list are the same as the numbers in that second list. So we go through them one at a time, we check to see if you know the number in the first list matches a number in that second collection. That's the idea of the example here. Causes a lot of computation, and I'm gonna run this with Flight Recorder and take a look at how the CPU and memory behaves. Now, one thing I do wanna point out, this, uh, this kicks off eight threads in my example, and every time a thread kicks off, I create a new work event, and you can see the work event here. This is from the Java Flight Recorder JDK API. I create a new worker called thread work. I started at the beginning of the run method. So you see event.begin. I terminate it at the end. And this will help me keep track of how long it takes to actually run all of these methods. But without any further ado, let me run on my hot Java method runner. Run as a Java application. I do have a launcher configured here, which will automatically run Java Flight Recorder as soon as this starts. You can see some of the output being printed in the console. And in just a moment, you'll actually see the number 33,333 come up as a, an individual thread starts going through this process and figuring out how many cross sections, intersections there are between these two lists. So there you see the number 33333 three, three, getting printed out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks like eight times. I want that to run one more time. So I've got eight threads going on an infinite loop. And once I see a second printout of those numbers, it is taking a while for this to calculate. Once I see a, a second printout of most of those, looks like those threads are all returning now. I'm gonna click enter to terminate that program. Now, I've told the program to save everything into a folder named recording. So I'm gonna do a refresh over here. There you can see my hot methods there. It's gonna do a bit of processing on the information that's gathered. Now when I open up on the method profiling, you can see it says, whoa, count matches is consuming 82.6 of the possible samples from this application. And that, that seems to be a real problem here. I got a number of processes running. I think that fatal error is just when I stopped the program, but this certainly looks like a, a problem I wanna be concerned with. Count matches is definitely an issue. I want to get a little bit more information so I click on Java application here you can look on the method profiling over here we can click on an individual method I can change the way this is laid out from a, a regular layout to a tree based layout I like the tree based layout and you can see here it's saying you know when these threads run it looks like the integer dot equals method is consuming about 76 percent of the the clock cycles and that comes from a come I'm going to click on a couple of the threads up here there's worker thread zero. Yeah, and we can see here that equals method, which is eventually called by that method count matches in my hot Java method class. That's taken 77% of the sample, 77% of the clock cycle seem to be consumed by that. Now, I don't call that explicitly, but I do call contains right here. And that contains method is gonna compare this I, which is a lowercase I, I think. No, it's an uppercase I. Um, that might be comparing, no, it's comparing the inner case. So it's not an unboxing issue. It's, uh, it looks like a, a genuine issue comparing things and pulling things out of that linked list up here. So anyways, interesting information. Another thing you can do here is I'm gonna, I've got this special setting here. I've said, you know what? I want that thread work object 
to be displayed in Flight Recorder. That thread work object is that work event that I created right there. There's thread work. And you can actually see that worker thread being displayed here. And you can see that it says to me that it took about 19 seconds to process that information. I can look on one of these other threads and this one took about 19 seconds as well. This one took 21 seconds through the processing. So you're looking at about 20 seconds to do the processing in this loop. Now watch this. Here's the payoff pitch right here. Let's make a little change. Instead of linked lists, let's use hash sets. Um, the linked list, the larger the list, the more difficult it is to process it and the bigger the performance uh, implication. Hash sets tend to have linear performance. So I'm gonna rerun this. I'm gonna go to package explore, delete that hot methods JFR file, Java flight recorder file. I'm gonna run this again, run it as a Java application. And look at this, like this is crazy. Previously it was taking 20 seconds to process this list. Now it looks like it's going 20 times per second. So I'm gonna click enter in there to terminate that. I'm gonna take a look at the Java flight recorder recording. So I'll do a refresh over here, bring this into Java flight recorder. Actually, I gotta close the old one because uh, it's just caching the old one there. Bring it into the new one. And let's see what it says. It says, uh, well, there's a couple of application halts and maybe you, there was a high JVM CPU load, but there was only a high CPU load there because my threads were running so quickly. So um, it looks basically like everything was running really, really well this time. Certainly if I do a comparison. So let's take a look at these Java applications. Look at the comparisons of, of how the threads ran here and you can see there really is no comparison. These processes were going lightning fast. If I look at these individual threads, we can see that, geez, it's, it's almost, doesn't even tell us. It's uh, 167 milliseconds in order for these processes to run. If you look at thread work here, and that one was as low, 137 milliseconds, 191 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds there. But as you can see, the, the difference is just unbelievable between using the hash set and the link list. And we discover that by using Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control. And there you go, that's the difference between hash sets and linked lists as far as performance goes. And it was all demonstrated using Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. I got lots of great tutorials on Java, performance, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.